Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you in five minutes how to play Scandinavian Defense. So Scandinavian Defense appears on the board after e4, we play d5, and here we have a Scandinavian already. Uh, at this point, the main line is going to be it takes d5. White can try other things. For example, we can talk about knight c3 defending that pawn on e4, but this is not going to work very well. You can just play d4. And after knight e2, you can just play e5. This position is really good for black. We are slightly better. So we don't need to worry about knight c3. There is another line here where white plays knight f3. That's a very tricky line. But well, if we know the trick and we understand the position, we're going to be fine. Here, you can just accept the pawn on e4. After knight g5, we can play uh, knight f6, defending that pawn a little. And here, there are, that, I, that I know, there are like uh, two main tricks here. Uh, for example, queen e2 is a trick. Uh, they are still attacking the pawn. If you play bishop f5, then maybe we are falling for uh, the trick. I mean, black is still better, but uh, bishop f5 is not the best. Here, they can play this check. And the idea is that uh, if we block, I mean, they are getting the bishop on f5. So if we block with the bishop back, they can capture here. Queen takes b7. And after bishop c6, that's actually a mistake. And white is going to be winning after bishop b5 here. If we play queen d7, there is a trade, and they can play queen c8, and then uh, we are losing the game. So in this position, after queen e2, uh, we don't need to play bishop f5. This is a good moment to ignore the threat on the pawn, give the pawn back, and just develop your pieces and uh, stay in a better mid game. Like, for example, like knight c6 is going to be a good move here. And just develop your pieces. And black is going to be better here because white is wasting moves to get the pawn back. And also the queen is in a very dubious position here. So, you know, we don't need to get into the tricky lines. And, well, the other line here is when they play d3. And, uh, well, we can... Capturing is actually not the best. We are, like, in some way we are falling for the trick here. But when we really are uh, losing is when we play a6. That's a very normal move, just to force the knight to go back. Well, here, uh, white can play a very nice tactics, and knight takes f7. And the idea is that after king takes f7, there is a check. Uh, it's a discovered, and then they are getting our queen. So uh, white is winning here, but of course we don't need to get into this trick. After d3, we can just play bishop g4, developing, getting a tempo, and black is going to be much better here. So, you know, you don't need to fall for all those tricks. Uh, so knight of 3 is, is not a line we need to worry too much about. So main line is going to be e takes d5 in the Scandinavian. We capture queen takes d5. Main line is knight c3. Here we have like three main options for black. Queen d6, queen d8, and queen a5. The three lines are very playable, but I really like the classical line with queen a5. The queen is going to be fine here, controlling many squares over the rank, also over the diagonal. And also we will play c6 very soon, so our queen can come back if we need. So uh, our queen, our queen is going to be safe in this line. So queen a5 is fine. Here, uh, white should play like d4. We play knight f6. They can play knight f3, and then we play c6. As, as we said, we want to make sure the queen can come back over here, but also that the knight is dominated by that pawn. The knight cannot go ahead. Main line is bishop c4, and here we develop the bishop. You can try bishop g4. But that's not really better. After a3, white is going to be fine. We don't have a very good way to continue after a3. So, yeah, best line here is bishop f5. We are going to be fine with this move. Here, uh, this is an important moment in Scandinavian defense. Uh, white has three main approaches in this position. They can just castle and play a normal mid game with a very small advantage. They can play like bishop d2, queen e2, and castle queenside and play a mid game a little more complicated. Usually black can stay in a good position, but it's actually a main line, very interesting for white. And also they can play like, try to get some advantage, like 95 and be a little aggressive right now, not not wait for the middle game. Just try now, try to be aggressive and try to take advantage of the development because they might have like one or two tempi ahead. So they might also play knight e5. So if they castle, we just play e6 and we continue with a very normal development here. And if they play here like a knight e5, they will be attacking your pawn on f7. So we need to play e6. And this is a very playable position. You're playing knight d7 very soon. And also if they play bishop d2, there's no threat right now because the knight doesn't have any real target. 
So one more time, we can just play E6 here and continue with our development. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see a video explaining in detail how to play Scandinavian with mid game positions, masters games, and much more information, check out this interesting video over here. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you so much, guys. Like, subscribe. See you on the next.